laws in Continue and Bill, if you will introduce, she's back again, this atheist idiot. She's a, she is. She's an atheist idiot. And if you don't mind, I'm going to sit a little your direction because every time she's on, I think there's going to be a bolt of lightning come down. Yeah. And I don't want to get I sinned. only wish. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, here she is, here to debate you on creationism versus evolution. And as we all know, as you just mentioned a few minutes ago, uh, evolutionists believe we uh, came from slime and polywogs. And who well, else? we all know she came from slime, don't we? Yeah! Well, that's, I came that's from exactly Orange County. It's the same say. thing, Here's though. Here's a person who has personal experience with slime, Donna Kaufman. There, boo. Thank you. Yay. You're beautiful. Now, Donna. Well, thank you. It's nice to have such a warm one. Well, I'm so glad to see that she got dressed up in her best clothes, huh? <laughs> Hey, Donna, hey, Donna, yes, nice Yes, Wally, pants. are you going to say something? Hey, Wally, hey, Wally. Yeah, somebody give this man CPR. Donna. <laughs> Donna. Yes, Wally? Nice shoes, Salvation Army. <laughs> you guys are easy. <laughs> Throw him some horse meat. Uh, but serious, seriously, John, in all seriousness, I'm going to... Hey, Wally, I was going to wish you happy birthday. I don't want it. I don't want any happy birthday wishes hey, from an idiot you know. atheist like you. I heard like these you. idiots singing to you before. Oh! I hope you know every time the song Happy Birthday is sung on television, you have to pay $10,000 for that. Hold on. So I'm going to be turning you in. And Just a minute. Happy birthday. You aren't <laughs> good enough to shine the shoes of any member of my audience. The people... The people in my audience are great Americans. You are scum! Yeah. Gee, I always get us mixed up. Scum, 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 scum. No, no, But enough substance, okay? Let's get down to the issues here. And of course, that is one of the issues. She is scum! Yeah. But we have no debate on that. None. Okay. <laughs> now, you know what? You and Bill Honig and some of the people in the state uh, Board of Education, all liberals, are now doing something I think is horrifying, and we must stop it before it becomes too late. You and people like you and Bill Honig, you want to stop creationism from being taught in our textbooks in public schools. And you know what? Donna and her liberal friends and Bill Honig and the Board of Education have said there will be no mention of creationism that God created this earth and all its inhabitants. No mention of that in any of our textbooks, only the theory of evolution that we all evolved from polywogs. And I say, if we're gonna have evolution in our textbooks, we must have the other side, creationism as well. Thank you. Well, that's the end of the show. You took up so much time here. I mean, they gotta have both sides done. Why only one side? We gotta have them here, both sides, and then let them make up their own minds, right? Yeah. The school system, as evidenced by the crowd here today, are a bunch of dunderheads. Oh, That's now wait what a minute. We should be doing. Hey, he does have pants on, or else he's got very gray legs. Don't start picking on my audience because you are really. Easy target. You're not welcome. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> you are. Why? Why are you afraid? Why are you and your liberal friends afraid to let the kids hear both sides and then make up their own minds? Well, you see, it's not a matter of both sides. We're talking about evolution versus cretinism or no, oops, creationism. Me, creationism. Donna. I get mixed up when I see cretins like you. Oh. But there's no debate about evolution. We're talking about science. Kids ought to be studying anthropology, paleontology, biochemistry, and biogeography, and learn about the origin of the planet and the species. And how can you deny that evolution is the only practical thing? See, you bring Many the Bible. Now, I was looking through this Bible earlier today. I mean, this Where's is the front the of that? Where's silly. the front of that Bible? Oh, I tore it off, you know. She but, tore the front of the Bible off! <laughs> Don't you dare 
Don't you dare tear a page. Don't you dare. Hey. I want to get it. something that you know a great deal about apparently you know I mean these, these, oh, these people really? believe in evolution you believe in Adam and Eve will you just read that stuff the majority I mean, it's so ludicrous the majority the Bible, hold on like, Donna fairy tales like Camelot or something Aesop's hold fable on, Donna, Donna. do we really think that the fox couldn't grab to the grapes and that's why we are talking about sour grapes these days and we have to take these things in the terms that they're meant they're fables and you base your whole existence on that silly Bible Evolution, sta evolution states that we all came from under a rock. She's the only one that came from under a rock. You think that Adam and Eve were the start of humanity, right? Adam and Eve, uh, by recorded text, uh, were about 6,300 years We're not years debating ago. the Bible, Donna. But we're not debating the Bible. Is 12 million we're not years debating old. the Bible. We're debating, we're debating evolution. And the wait, universe wait, wait, wait. is we're not, 20 we're not, billion we're not debating years old. We're not debating evolution. Wait, we're no, debating. we're not, Donna. Jesus. We're wait. debating the issue. Wait. No, no, we're not. No, we're not. Uh, wait. No. Wait. The thing is that Wally is telling you we're discussing whether or not we should, should teach or schools. give it to both and let everybody make their own decision. No. What are you so worried about? at least letting a kid have a chance to hear this. Jesus, you see what it is? No, no, no. I don't think we ought to be t teaching that there's a chance there might be a Santa Claus either because there's not its mythology. Teach it as an elective course when children are old Santa enough. Claus. But Donna. instead, teach young children. And, and if you feel that strongly about religious theory in schools, send your kid to a private no, school. No, 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 no. I was no. sent to a Catholic be school as a kid. Donna. I was raised by nuns and wolves. I had a teacher, Sister Mary Mann, was my teacher so well, no wonder I, I don't care about I your do. life story we're debating here now what I'm saying here Donna people like her this is all a, a created thing they all want to kill God and religion in America no, no, no. We don't, it's we're all not killing God it's all part of yes no it, no we just simply to discredit don't believe God. his existence well, wait hold on a minute you don't believe in God's existence but I'm telling you the great majority of Americans do believe in God don't we yeah. I'm saying this the issue here, the issue here is choice. Now, Donna and a lot of her left-wing bimbo friends are always calling for pro-choice, right? The right to choose whether they have an abortion or not. That's their choice, right? Sure. But she doesn't want students to have the right to choose between evolution and creationism. I say... No, because creationism we is have the right religion. To have choice. Choice. No, we're talking... Re you're talking religion. You know, even... Billy Graham came up to me one time and said, Donna, this oh, religion stuff is a lot of bunk. And I believe what he Billy said. Billy Graham never said that. You know he didn't. He did so. I Bi swear on a stack of pancakes. Billy Graham, Billy Graham s said to you what? He said, Donna, this religion stuff is a Donna, lot of bunk. Billy Graham, the evangelist, said no, that to you? No, Billy Graham, the music guy in San Francisco. Oh, what do you think? Oh. Don't get smart. Don't get smart, hey, but Donna. You know what the problem is, Wally, why you don't accept evolution is because you can't bear the thought that you might be a monkey. And oh, fact, if you look really close, you take off the white wig will and you, you see you... a man on the way to, well, something on the way to becoming human, almost. Hey, hey. But you know, hey, hold, I hold, asked Donna, Janice, hold, hold, your hold, wife, hold, a little earlier. Answer, she says Donna, you are I no homo erectus. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You, you want to insult me? I'll insult you okay. back. Hey, right, have do. her take off and her clothes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wally, Wally is so stupid. I said, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He thinks all homo sapiens I'm talking here. HIV 
positive. I am talking here. Oh. I'm in control. Do you want to you leave are? the show? Do you want to leave Is the stage? Is that your Alexander Haig impression? Do you want to leave the stage or not? Previous engagement with the Thompsons. So I said, look, why don't you... You said, I'm sure Carol won't mind. Yeah, how'd you guess? Because that's what you always say. Shh! You like the park out... We're going to clear the house. Everybody quiet down. All right, now. Hi, Wally. Nice you, to see you You are again. Sunny. I'm Sunny. Yeah. Yeah. And this is my, this is my girlfriend, Honey. Lisa, and this is Honey. And Wally, we do everything together. We share. We share everything. Now, you are here. You are... Will you stop that with your tongue? <laughs> now, you are... Hold, you are here to... to defend... Our professional... Nude, nude dancing, dancing clubs. Yes. Now... Yes. Now, I say this. Nude dancing clubs should be outlawed in the United States of America because they are immoral, they are indecent, they are sickening and disgusting! No! This is America and we have a right. We have a, we right. Have a right to be nude wherever we want. Let me ask you, hey, <laughs> let me ask you, do you two, do you, uh, do you two dance naked? Together, we yes. dance. <laughs> we tour the country and we dance in new dance clubs and we're known as Sunny and Honey Double, Double Trouble. Trouble. Oh. I'll give you double of it. Okay, now hold, hold on, Sonny. We also do home private parties. Anybody calling that telephone number, right? No! Now let me ask you. Why would you, hold in the audience? Why hold in the audience? Hey, one more time, and I'm clearing the house. We'll have no audience. Okay. Now we have we have an interview to conduct here. Now, why why do you why do you th say that new dancing clubs? should be able to operate. There was, wait a minute, there, there, were, there was a club, for example, in the San Fernando Valley here in Southern California. The neighbors were the ones who complained. The neighbors' wives, because their husbands weren't at home with the wives and they needed to go see us dance. Maybe. Oh. If the women would satisfy their husbands, they then wouldn't we, they wouldn't, but evidently they can't. Yeah. And so... We don't have that much freedom of expression on my program. Oh. 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 Now, honey, let me ask you, honey. Hold, hold, hold on. 